Number 62. Three adjacent keys on a piano, F, F sharp, and G, are struck simultaneously, producing frequencies of 349, 370, 392 hertz. What beat frequencies are produced by this discordant combination? So anytime we have a beat frequency, beat frequency is produced by the difference in frequencies of two waves. But they gave us three. No big deal. Let's call this the 349 wave one. Let's call the 370 wave two. And let's call the 392 uh, wave three. How many different pairs can you get out of these um, these three uh, wavelengths? Uh, excuse me, these three frequencies. Well, you can have one and two together. right? You can have one and three together. Or you can have two and three together. So guess what? We break the problem up into three separate problems. Okay? So to find the beat frequency between wave one and two is going to be equal to the frequency of one minus the frequency of two. Now, again, it's the absolute value. So you can take that and plug it in. Um, you know, the larger minus the smaller, it really doesn't matter. All right? I'll be consistent, though. I'm going to write the 349 minus the uh, 370, right? So when you take when you take that difference, it works out to be negative, but we're going to have the positive answer. So that works out to be 21 hertz. Okay, and guess what? Same thing with the other two. So this is the B frequency now between one and three. This is going to be F1 minus F3. I'll call it now, and this is then going to be the 349. Oops, 349 minus the 392. So that looks like it's going to be uh, about 43 hertz. Okay, last but not least now, we do the beat frequency between 2 and 3. That's equal to the absolute value of F2 minus F3, let's say. And that's simply going to be uh, 370 minus the 392. And that looks like it's simply going to be 22. Those are the three frequencies, beat frequencies. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope that helped. Please remember to subscribe. See you next time. Bye.